Simon doesn't like to be ignored. In the robot sense, it frustrates him. He has been programmed to seek attention, a skill that researchers at Georgia Tech say is vital to integrating robots into our lives. Hey, Simon. So um, robots don't generally do this. They would say, hello, let me tell you about my product over here. And they would just keep going. And, and so that's what we're trying to solve with this, with this um, catching your attention project, is like that the robot could use a measure of contingency to, to tell that this person is responding to me. So now we're entering into a turn-taking engagement. Researcher Andrea Tomas says Simon is being taught the art of conversation. Not only can he seek attention, his computer vision tells him when he has it. The researchers have programmed him to compare the video images registered before and after his appeals for attention. If the images are significantly different, Simon knows he succeeded. Tomas says that giving a robot the ability to converse with a human has several real-world applications. Search and rescue could be one of them. You know, the robot itself is out in a you know, dangerous environment searching for you know, victims or, or people that need help. And, and so there's the interaction between the robot and somebody that it might potentially find. And, and that's something where you know, this work of contingent response is really relevant. You know, so if that robot could you know, make some signals into the world and say, hey, can you hear me? And, and understand that there's you know, somebody out there that responded contingently to it, that's you know, directly applicable. Tomas says there's still a lot of work to be done before humans and robots can chat with one another. Apart from conversation, the robots need to be taught how to adapt to their environment, a skill that humans take for granted. Tomas believes it's only a matter of time. Today, Simon can get your attention, but soon he may be able to tell you what's on his mind. Ben Gruber, Reuters.